This lesson will discuss PHP libraries in Pear. The topics include what is a Pear package? What does Pear stand for? What is available on pear.php.net? How do you install a Pear package? And how does a Pear package improve a website? Moving first to the Pear website. The website is pear.php.net. Pear stands for PHP Extension and Application Repository. Much like the Pickle website, the Pear packages are organized in categories. Various categories include authentication, database, encryption, file system, internationalization, and so forth. Having a look, first of all, at encryption, we can see there's a number of different packages, including crypt underscore blowfish, crypt underscore cbc, crypt underscore chap, etc. These represent libraries of code that are written in PHP. Unlike Pickle, which contains libraries of code written in C language, the pair packages can simply be downloaded and unzipped and placed in the appropriate directory. Pickle, on the other hand, requires that the packages be downloaded, compiled, and enabled in the PHP INI file. There's a difference in performance as well. Because the pair packages are written in PHP, they are executed like any other PHP script which is written. The Pickle packages, on the other hand, are written in C language, they're compiled, they're in binary format, and therefore the execution will be much superior. Another technique to install a pair package is to use the pair command. This can be done from the XAMP shell or from any command shell. The pair command must be installed first. In the lab, you'll have a chance to install a pair package. The directory where the pair packages are located is under the XAMP structure. You go to PHP, from there you go to Pear, and you will see there's a series of directories which represent the base classes of the Pear package system. Looking at crypt, for example, you can see that we have the blowfish.php file, which is written in PHP. It's written in the form of a class, and there's a series of properties and methods which are defined within the class. Looking to our code example, the first thing that needs to be done with any pair package is to make sure that the package has been included. So we use the include command, indicate the path, indicate the name of the file, and now we're free to use the contents of the file. On line 6, we define an encrypt function where we create an instance of crypt underscore blowfish and return the encrypted contents. On line 11, in a similar manner, we create a decrypt function which creates an instance of crypt underscore blowfish and returns the decrypted contents. On line 17, we obtain the contents of the file gettysburgaddress.txt. File get contents is discussed in the files chapter. We then create a key, which can be any arbitrary string that you want to create. The longer the string, the more secure it's considered. On line 21, we create the encrypted contents. On line 22, we decrypt the encrypted contents and then display the results. So moving over to the browser, let's have a look at the output. So as you can see, here's the Gettysburg address encrypted. Here's the decrypted version. In review, what is a pair package? A pair package is a library of functions or classes written entirely in PHP, unlike Pickle, where the contents are written in C language and must be compiled and enabled. What does Pear stand for? PHP Extension Archive Repository. What is available on pear.php.net? Many categories of packages written in PHP. How do you install a Pear package? You could download and unzip the package into the Pear directory, the directories indicated in your PHP INI file, or you could use the Pear command to do the equivalent. The Pear command must be installed on your system. How does a pair package improve a website? Pair packages add specific functionality that allows you to get certain jobs done. The example that was shown was an example using the Blowfish encryption algorithm. This concludes our discussion of PHP libraries and pair.